the Persian version 2023. I had vaguely come across this film. I'd heard it mentioned sometime a few months ago, but I didn't see it appear in the cinema. I only just noticed it on the streaming services that I subscribe to. So yesterday I decided to give it a watch and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's directed by Mariam Kershavaz. It says at the start it's based on a true story. Well, ish. It stars Layla Mohammadi as Layla. She's the protagonist. The story starts off in the USA where Layla is probably at the cusp of adulthood, maybe in her 20s I would say. She is married to another woman at the start of the film. She is facing a divorce because her wife's not faithful, I think, something like that. One of the earliest scenes, the way the film opens, Layla is going to a fancy dress party and she's <laughs> wearing hardly anything on her bottom half. She's just wearing her knickers and the top half is pretty well covered over, her face covered apart from her eyes. So it's really striking and humorous. She walks through the streets. A lot of people are staring at her probably not everyone she's in New York it's the same as London a lot of us are used to anything and people can be exactly as they want she goes to this fancy dress party and she wins first prize and then she's chatting to flirting perhaps a little bit with someone who's ostensibly a drag queen who turns out not to be a drag queen who is playing the lead character in Hedwig and the Angry Inch and she ends up having sex and she has to look him up at this play because she finds herself pregnant she finds out that Edwig is the father and so she tells him and gets his support. There's so much humour in this film. There's a lot about it. Layla has got seven, is it eight brothers? She's the ninth child and she's the first girl. One of her brothers is a bit of an outsider but there again her mother thinks she's an outsider too because she's a lesbian and her mother seems pretty bigoted. She doesn't accept her daughter and that's really upsetting. But then we start finding out more about the family. They're in America, they're in New York and yet they came from Iran and they came from Iran before it was Iran when it was Persia I guess before the Iranian revolution. I remember when I saw news reports there was an awful lot of coverage in 1979 of the Iranian revolution. I was assuming that that was maybe why they came over to the US, the family, but there's a lot more of an elaborate story and this is what the film is largely based on it's Layla uncovering the rumoured scandal her grandmother and a grandmother Mama June she tells Layla when she's young that there's been a scandal but doesn't reveal anymore and she goes back to her Iran and so Layla doesn't have the opportunity to ask but when she is there next she does and because there's so much to unpack about her mother I mean her father's very ill he's had heart trouble for years and now he has surgery and may not make it and so there's all the family are gathered around his bedside when he has a heart transplant and there's a lot of the revelations about Muslim culture. I found it really enlightening. Some films that have shown, like there was one film that was about a gay man with a Muslim background, but it's again really refreshing to see this story of a gay woman and her background. It was such a ride. I so love this film. So much humour, a lot of tragedy as well, and I was crying an awful lot at times. There's some really moving stuff as well in this film. And you really go along for the ride with Layla. 
And she's often breaking the fourth wall and explaining the humour. And then her mother breaks the fourth wall as well. Just so much witty narrative. It's fabulous. I just loved it all. A lot of the middle part of the film is set in Iran and there are subtitles. There are some slightly bloody scenes, childbirth, where the child hasn't survived. There's a lot of really poignant stuff. But I thought it was brilliant. I really loved it. I'm going to score it 9.25 out of 10. There's so many witty ways of telling a story, uh, explaining how life is when you move somewhere completely different, and the clashes of cultures and how you get on. And love to know what you thought if you've seen this film. Please like if you like this. Thanks for subscribing and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.